Hi Virgo, welcome to your love reading for May 2021. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. I'm going to let you know what's going on with your person, how they feel, what's going on with you and your love life for May. So keep in mind these are general messages so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't you can always check your other placements. We have the Seven of Wands. Why the Seven of Wands? Someone is feeling pushed away, left out. Um, Queen of Cups. So there's someone who has feelings where they feel the need to protect their heart. They feel like that there's too much pressure. So this is usually someone who is just like has feelings but is afraid of getting hurt. So they push people away. So this could be someone pushing you away. For some of you, this person is kind of indicating you guys just being friends. But let me see, what's this person's energy towards Virgo for the month of May? The higher fans. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. I see that this person is. For some reason, they seem to be pushing you away. They seem to be wanting to be alone and kind of run from the feelings, but also keeping an eye on you. What's Virgo's energy towards their person? You see a card just fell on the floor and it is the Seven of Wands again. What's Virgo's energy towards this person? Okay, Four of Cups, Magician. You're hurt by their actions and so some of you have kind of shut down from this person or you're not, you're planning to not accept any offers from them. I see you planning to take that control. What's the recent past energy of this connection? Okay, the Emperor. I could be dealing with the Aries for some of you. But someone was kind of controlling. There's someone holding on, someone wanting control here. What's the energy of this connection? The Tower and Death. And look at that for the third time, the Seven of Wands. This could be a Scorpio for some of you or an Aries, Taurus as well. But... There's a major change happening here. I don't know if if there was a, a controlling situation and then there's suddenly a breakup or a separation, but there seems to be some kind of huge shift here with the tower and the death card. These are two different types of transformation. One is sudden and painful, one is, you know, natural. Wow. Why is this the energy? Okay, look at that though. Look at that again. For the fourth time, the seven of wands. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Why is this death card here? That's the energy. Why the tower? The world. There, there has been a sudden ending for some of you. There could be, it could be that some of you have a new person already or there is a new person coming into your life with the Page of Cups. This could also be your, your person who things ended with coming to apologize soon at some point in May. So there's been a sudden ending. Someone pushed it. So it could be like they blocked you or you blocked them. Someone's pushing someone away with this seven of wands for sure. Let me see what this person has to say. What's their message to Virgo for May 2021? I am damaged and not deserving of your love. I mean, I realize that they're pushing you away because they cannot handle the feelings that they have. They have fear of getting hurt. They may have been damaged in the past. They have a fear of that happening again. So them pushing you away is really just fear. 
Sorry I did not see your value and worth when we were together. And my pride and ego led us astray. This person let fear get the best of them. They may have gone through a situation that was very damaging and they're just afraid that that's gonna happen again. Let me look at the main spread. See what's going on. Okay. Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? What's to come for Virgo in May? What can Virgo expect in love? Oh my goodness. What can Virgo expect in May? you know because you're seeing this person as a nine of wands so you know that they're afraid they're holding back they're hiding their feelings the ten of wands so they they do feel burdened by how they feel about you it's too much they ran they ran from this they ran from the from the connection strength card you may have feelings for this person or love them but you are stronger than you think you are you are able to deal with this to get through it um, some of you may be getting help from friends or family to cope but I see the three of wands in the center and the king of wands blocking this could be a person blocking as in you could have met someone new or could meet someone new or this could be this person's you know ego their pride blocking the situation their fears of vulnerability is what i'm hearing so they're just in this knight of swords energy kind of just running running from the situation trying not to feel is what i feel this person is doing they're trying not to have these feelings um, because they're too burdening for them it brings them so much fear and anxiety they're seeing you as the empress so this could even mean that you're pregnant if you're female obviously or that this person is still very much attracted to you they're seeing you this could be them seeing you as being too good for them too attractive for them that you could move on that you could find someone else and abandon them you know it brings up a lot of fear uh, we have the moon as the outcome. Also, the set, the not seven. This the two of swords. So them avoiding, avoiding the situation, avoiding their emotions, trying to run from their emotions. And your outcome is the moon. It's like something hidden. Something hidden. Let me see. Why the moon is the outcome? You could be dealing with a Leo or a Pisces, Cancer. Death again, Scorpio energy. There is a change coming that you are unaware of. For some of you, because I'm hearing blessing in disguise. There is transformation coming for your life. So for you, this is a transition period that's going to lead you to this six of wands energy where you accomplish something or you get somewhere or meet someone who's good for you. But it's kind of hidden because the moon is here. So to you, you just feel like you're going through a bad situation. Your person left. They're pushing you away. But little do you know, there's, there's a shift happening leading you to this six of wands, whatever it may be. We have this Knight of Swords again. I do feel 
this is what I feel for you for me. You are go you're gonna realize that you're stronger than you think you are, that's for one. Then you're gonna start to you're gonna start to get over this and like you're not really gonna feel hurt about it for a long time. You're gonna start to pursue things for yourself and then I I see this person just kind of running back and forth. So they might be in and out of your life. And you, because you find yourself, you know, because you put your, you choose to put your energy into something more important or something for yourself, you're kind of looking at this person bouncing back and forth and you're just like, what a waste of time. Like you start to see, because you start to put energy into yourself and what you want to do in life, you start to see what is a waste of time and what isn't. So... I feel like them, like you just, you're just going to start to realize that there's more out there for you. Hold on a sec. Messages for Virgo. We have fate. Quality time. Know your worth in divine timing, you see? It's like mystery. There's fate, there's something happening in the universe for you, like something's getting ready to happen for you. And you're just needing to focus on you and know your worth. We have quality time and divine timing. So there's something to do with time where at this point in time, you don't know what's happening. But if you were to like skip to say in the 20s of May, which is what I'm seeing in my head, some, somewhere in the 20s, I'm seeing 23. Somewhere towards the end of May, if you were to just shift to that point, You'd see that your life is totally different. Your mindset is totally different. But then there's that time in between that you just have to get through. So I just feel like you're going to realize your strength. And you're going to get somewhere you never thought you were going to get. Let me see. Lots of love messages for Virgo. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It could be that you meet someone who does, you know, want to take things to the next level. You've let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. This connects with the three of <clears throat> the three of pentacles that I've been seeing as you and your friends, you know, you kind of getting help or speaking to someone, speaking to friends, letting it out basically. And I feel like that kind of connects with the strength as well because when you let it out, that's when it just becomes easier to deal with and you find that you just kind of stop thinking about it. We have finance and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So you might start to focus on your own Thing. your own finances hold on what's the advice for virgo luck is on your side could be dealing with a sagittarius could be dealing with a leo don't let your pride get in the way don't let pride get in your way it could be that this person let pride get in their way we have Meditate and contemplate Pisces energy and your commitment is being tested. So for some of you, it could be that you, your commitment with this person is being tested at this moment where they're kind of, oh, the end of a tough cycle be, the end of a tough cycle approaches Capricorn energy. I didn't see this fall out, but it adds to the story because I do see that towards the end of May where you just the tough the tough part of this the, the sad part it kind of fades away you find yourself dealing with it a lot easier than you thought so this person I don't know they're, they're just they're just making themselves miss an opportunity with you they can't handle their their emotions <clears throat> they can't handle their feelings and they run and they may come back to you like back and forth, but I feel like you're gonna start to see or start to be annoyed with that. 
And so, I don't know, some of you may continue with them, I don't know, but some of you, it looks like you just get bored of that. You just get bored of dealing with someone who can't even handle their own emotions, is what I'm seeing. What is going on for the near future? What's the near future energy for Virgo? Queen of Wands. Whenever I ask about near future, the Queen of Wands, when it comes out first, and oftentimes, oftentimes comes out first, it means you're about to step into independence. You're about to claim your power. You're about to be very busy with a lot of things um, in your life. And it's just a really powerful position to be in. We also have judgment, which connects with fate. Because it's about, you know, destiny and things that are happening for a reason. And the universe is planned for you. We have the Ace of Pentacles. There is a new start. So if you were having financial issues, there seems to be an increase in finances with the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you found a new venture, a new income. The Hierophant, I feel like you're choosing to do things the right way. We also have the Eight of Cups. So while they've been pushing you away, you're soon going to be seeing through their behavior, seeing the, the true weakness behind it, and kind of just going about your life. I see you just putting yourself first, so regardless of whether you choose to be with them or not, I see you choosing to put yourself first, and there's something happening behind the scenes for you. All right, so... Virgo, this is what I'm seeing for you for me. I hope this was helpful to you. Hope you got something out of this. Check your other placements if you need to know more about what's coming in May. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.